So when I'm fasting, I need to get somewhere all by myself so I can pray. And then the Bible said this about fasting. Don't go get on the phone and tell everybody that you fasted. See, God wants, to, God wants to do something for us in this season. And if we will hear the word that, that Bishop is trying to get us to hear tonight, that our next level is coming from a cleanse. What do you need to cleanse yourself from tonight? What do you need to purge your system out of tonight so God can give you the impartation? You know what you know the Lord showed me, told me, Bishop, he said, I cannot bless the people of God until they get everything out of them that I want to put in them. And as long as we have stuff, old stuff in us, like you said, I've noticed now this is this is this is no disrespect to the greatest praise team in the world. People will come in and love to hear praise and worship. But as soon as the word of God comes in, it's a tilt spirit. I got to use the restroom. <laughs> come on. Because we don't really believe that the word is important. I'm, I'm a believer that the prophet's house is an old school birthday house. Y'all didn't hear me. If, if you're used to contemporary culture, you don't know how to enjoy a small, powerful setting. But was there anybody that, that understands when there was just 10 people in the room and the power of God was so thick that they didn't want to leave the presence of the Lord? They forgot what time it was. They, they weren't rushing out of church and, and at a certain time that they, they basked in it. Matter of fact, church was over. The lights were almost off and they were still sitting in a chair like, God, you ain't finished. I still need you to do the work. Y'all didn't hear that. There's got to be a day and a time where there's a people that will call their job and say, I'm not coming in tomorrow. I got to lay before the Lord. God is dealing with me. I got to get this right. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity for God to clean me out in a place I've been struggling in my life. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a magnitude of adjustment. And we got to get back to the place where the people start passionately going for his presence. And, and believe it or not, before, and I, I echo, I echo before, the, the worship that we normally have and the preaching that we normally get and all of it, if we don't come for his presence, and as she said, fasting takes out that stuff that we hear, that we sense, that we see, cleans all of that out so that we can be censored to the presence of God. God will use whomever, whenever, however, to be a blessing to whomever, because God will use something that you cannot imagine to be the next level of what he's about to do in the kingdom. Well, there's about 10 of you in here that will have something that you just want to get a question in about walking with God. Walking with God. Um, I've, I've, while I was praying, I've even seen the Lord put his hand on some of you. So I know that there are some of you that have specific questions that you need to ask tonight. Now, I'm going to say this. Two of you in here are very shy. You've never stood up at this microphone before, but there's something that God wants to answer. And it's not by accident that you have that question in your heart. Now, um, as you will just come real quickly, I have about time, I think, for about 10. And so if you would, come. And don't be afraid to grow. Amen. 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 Come real quick. Come. Come real quick. While you're coming, um, touch the daughter right there. Too. You have the baby in your hand playing with the toy right there. Yes. Uh, while I was praying, the Lord just showed me your spirit and said that there was something that he wanted to answer in your heart. That has been a question that you've had for almost the last three months about your spiritual walk. Would you just get that, whatever that is in your, the person? Because he's getting ready to not just give you grace, but give you grace and favor. And there's something that you just have to get ready to walk into. And notice, sometimes by the power of your words, you can hear the answer being released in your heart. Notice what happened when Peter said, oh, it's of a truth that God is no respecter of person. 
that the next level can come out of his life. Sometimes when you don't ask the question, you can't get the answer Amen. to who you are. And I want to say this right before you come. Blessings to you. I was speaking to somebody and um, prophets and I were out and I just got a chance to say something. I want you to hear this because it's profoundly intertwined within the text. The difference for some people in this room is that you're still trying to find your destiny. And then there's some that are walking in sovereignty. There's a difference. What's the difference, Bishop? People that are trying to find their destiny are those that are saying, what is my purpose? God, I don't understand. I know I got a lot of options and choices and all those other things, etc." I can tell you Everybody that was in the disciples could walk in the destiny of winning souls. The sovereignty came when Peter was assigned to talk to people that others ignore. You will find your greatest level in God is when you no longer argue with him. You accept him in his choice for your life. See, sovereignty is no longer, Lord, what's, what, what do I feel best for me? Can you do it for me? It's, Lord, I don't even care what you choose for me. I just want what you got for me. See, that was the difference with Peter. Peter had to accept what the Lord had, no longer doubting. And people that doubt are always trying to see if it fits destiny. Good God, Bishop, you're teaching right now. Because you have already figured out your destiny so much that God can't even be sovereign. I hope you all can grab this. Because when God wants to choose to show you something that was not on your agenda, do you call it destiny? It is, but it's sovereignty. It's a level at a choice. And you know what the wonderful thing is? At some choices, you're going to be fought because you have to process to it. But as sovereignty, there is no fight because God has already sent whatever it is to you. I hope somebody grabs this right now. Look at somebody say, when it's sovereign, it's not going to be a fight because it's coming to you. How many of y'all want this stuff that's supposed to come to you? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his what? Righteousness and all these what? Things shall be what? Added to you. So that if they're going to be added, you don't have to pay for it to be added. It's going to come and be added. Now, now notice what happens. I know what happens real quickly. We get one, and I'm going to chalk, chalk our time now. As soon as we get this last one, don't everybody jump up and want to come to the questions. If you have a question, come right now. Come now. Come now, real quickly. I want you to get it because I want to make sure that we get out on time. Thank you so much. Always when there's something different, you got to give time for it. First, I give honor to you, Bishop. I give all the ministers honor, everybody in their respectable places. Um, when I first, I mean, I could speak of everybody. I could be up here for um, a long time, but I'll try to be brief. When I first got saved, 2006, and I got the Holy Ghost, um, I knew I, I knew I was called to um, prayer and fasting. But one, of, one of my questions is, why does the church talk so much down on fasting? Because I've done a th um, three-day fast, I've done seven-day fast, I've done 21-day fast, just liquids, and yet when I shared some of the visions that um, the Lord used to um, Show me. People used to always say, um, you got to be careful. You got to be careful. And um, that's just one thing. And another thing, when I used to pray and fast heavy, you know, sometimes in my dreams, I couldn't, um, sorry, excuse me. It's okay. It was like a weight on me that I couldn't <laughs> speak. And I couldn't even call on the name of Jesus. So, um. I just want you to touch bases on those. I mean, there's so much more that I just can't. I appreciate your depth. I appreciate your heart. I appreciate your questions. Would you like to start? In answering, or you want me to start? 